So today I've got a brand new Dell Latitude 5540 rocking the 13th gen i5 1345U CPU. This is a brand new computer and it's pretty strong. We're gonna review this computer today and we're gonna upgrade the storage and see if we can get this computer even faster than it already is. Hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump right in. So I've got the computer booted, and this is in fact Latitude 5540 with the 13th gen CPU. Now the battery health on this computer is 100%, showing that the computer is in fact brand new. The stock SSD that comes with the computer is rocking 26 hours full NVMe SSD in 100% condition, which is pretty decent. Now the read write speed on this computer for this stock SSD is actually pretty good to be honest. We're getting 2,659 read and 1,796 write. Now we'll definitely be able to do a little bit better than this, including an upgraded memory controller in the upgraded SSD. But for now, I'll be honest, this is pretty good. And this computer is definitely not struggling when it comes to power, as is stock from the manufacturer. Chips with 16 gigs of RAM, two chips of eight gigs, gig DDR4 at the 3200 speed. So all in all, as it stands, just stock out the box. This computer is pretty good. Now, before we proceed with this hardware upgrade, we want to make sure that the BIOS is the most current version available. And we'll do that by going to the Dell website, typing in the model number of the computer, and then checking the date and the version of the BIOS to make sure that we're at the latest version. This just helps to prevent any possible errors. So I've got Windows installed with all the drivers and already I can notice a huge difference. I mean, look at the difference in read write speed in comparison to the original SSD. All the drivers are installed. CPU is at a good level, 2% utilization, 1% just idling. So that's definitely good. One hour on this Western Digital Black SN770. And one thing I really love about this SSD is it operates at such a great temperature inside this computer. I mean, after all the drivers being installed, after all the Windows updates, the installation, I'm idling right now at 39 Celsius. And that's an incredible temperature for this full NVMe SSD. For anyone that's curious, this computer comes equipped with a Wi-Fi 6 adapter and I'm connected to my Asus Wi-Fi 6 router. And the speeds are fluctuating in between 1.4. Highest I just saw it was 1.8. Now we're at 1.7 gigabits per second. That's crazy. Easy Wi-Fi speed for this built-in internal Wi-Fi 6 adapter. Now we're just going to test out the speed on this computer in regards to how the average user would commonly use this computer. I mean, that was ridiculously fast. Let's go technology. Just putting in random words into Google. Let's go Dell. I mean, it's not even blinking. Let's go keyboard. Let's go mouse. Let's go TV. I mean, <laughs> it's fast. Let's open up Apple. I mean, this thing is just not even blinking whatsoever. This thing is really fast now. Let's open up YouTube. Let's head over to my channel. And let's just play a random video. Boost it up to 1080p. Let's do a graphics card test. This is a great way to test out the internal graphics of any computer. Stream 1080p and minimize and maximize to full screen and look for video lag, for video stutter, hesitation. Seems pretty fluid, to be honest. Maybe a slight little bit of, I think that's more to do with the animation of it minimizing and maximizing to full screen. Yeah, seems pretty solid. Let's go ahead and open some commonly used apps. Let's start with Microsoft Word. Just flies open. Let's try Excel. 
I mean, there is definitely no shortage of power on this computer. Let's open up PowerPoint. Blazing fast. Now we're just gonna do a boot time test from power button to ready desktop. Very curious to see how fast this computer can boot from power button to ready desktop. 18 seconds. Decent. While we're here, let's test out some heavier applications and see how they fare. Start with Photoshop. Not spectacular, but I mean, it was decent. Let's try it again. A little bit faster once it's already been opened. Let's try Premiere Pro. Decent speed. Let's try Media Encoder. Looks like the top cores are really working on opening these programs. Sixty seven percent. After all that, only five gigs of RAM in utilization. Pretty decent. So this one's done and it turned out really, really well. I hope this helps someone and I hope this gave you an idea of how this computer is and how it can be even better once upgraded. If you found value, hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more.